You're listening to Nurse Converse, presented by Nurse.org, a collaborative podcast amplifying diverse nurse voices. Get ready for a dose of inspiration, a sprinkle of education, and a whole lot of community. Welcome to the Nurse Converse podcast. My intention is to create a safe space to spotlight issues, inspire, and share in our nursing community. I am so excited to have you joining me in this episode of Nurse Converse, where I will be discussing what is going well in healthcare. My name is Holly Kapuzinski. I'm an advanced practice registered nurse, a board certified nurse coach, a holistic nurse, and the owner of Life Cycle Balance. I'm so happy that you're here with me today. But before we get started today, I would like to thank each and every one of you who are joining me today and who may be listening to this. I would like to thank you for your support as I have taken on this podcast host adventure. I appreciate each and every one of you And I look forward to bringing inspiration and perhaps some knowledge to issues that affect all of us. So before we get started, I would like to share with you something that's been on my heart. It's a question that I have been reflecting on for the past few days in preparing for this episode. How do I want to show up today? Honestly, as I was preparing myself for this experience, I was feeling a lot of fear, dis-ease, and questioning my abilities and myself. It was not a very comfortable place to be. And even though I'm excited about this opportunity, I am entering the unknown for the first time. It was stressful. And I lost some sleep, if I'm being honest. So, have you had moments like this? Maybe you are right in the middle of a moment like this. Is there something you're trying or something you're changing that you're making that feel uncomfortable? As I was asking myself that question, honestly, what flashed into my mind as I was reflecting on this, was my first experience giving a patient an injection with my instructor standing behind me. I can honestly say it was one of those moments I was terrified, despite my brain reassuring me that I knew what I was doing, my body was frozen. I was literally holding the syringe in my right hand, poised and ready to launch it into my patient, but I was unable to move. I had all sorts of thoughts swirling around in my head in that moment. I couldn't do it alone. My instructor took my hand and helped me. I was introduced into the just do it mentality of nursing in that moment. Honestly, I'm still afraid of giving injections. But now I face that fear with a different kind of intention. I show up for myself in that moment. I recognize that I am still afraid at times. I breathe and then I take action. It's a memory I will never forget because it was a moment where I asked myself, can I really do this? Maybe you are asking yourself that question right now. Maybe you are asking yourself if you can do it or if you can do something different. In my case, what seemed like eternity was really just a moment. And my answer to myself and out loud was, yes, I may have needed some help the first time, but I learned through that experience that I was able to shift out of fear and into action. So What is holding you in fear right now? What shifted for me walking through it, gaining experience, embracing hope, 
and communion with colleagues, friends, and family who were supporting me made all the difference, and maybe it will for you as well. I may continue to take longer when experiencing the unknown to step into action, but I've learned that the unknown brings growth. It may not be comfortable in that moment, but I will be a different person after going through it. Maybe some of you are experiencing that. Becoming aware of myself and what I need in these moments has made all the difference for me, and I believe it can for you as well. The question I had reflected on earlier with you, how do you want to show up, is at the heart of this episode. Before we start, I would like to invite you to join me in bringing your attention to the center of your chest, around the heart space, just noticing your breathing, the rise and fall of the chest, breathing just a little longer and deeper, making this your own pace and in a way that makes you feel comfortable and returning to the present moment. Let's get started. So I mentioned my intention for this episode is to share what's going right in healthcare right now. Can you guess what that might be? What it has always been? If you guess nurses and nursing, you are right. My fellow healthcare colleagues are also bringing value in many different ways. And I acknowledge all of that work that they are doing as well. But today I want to focus on us. It's no secret that in the past several years, after the beginning of the recent global pandemic known as COVID-19, the healthcare environment has been stretched, broken, and in need of repair. In the nurse.org article, One study reveals alarming statistics on nurse burnout. It was cited that nurses are experiencing deep pain and many are disengaging at work. What was more alarming to me in this study was 50% of the nurses who reported they were disengaged but had no intention of leaving their organization. I have an image of my suffering colleagues showing up working and feeling that there's no help available. It is as if my colleagues are deeply wounded and no one is doing anything to help. Or worse, they are not sure what to do. Throughout history, we have seen, heard, and perhaps personally witnessed hatred. But even more deadly is indifference. Every human deeply wants to be seen, heard, valued, and acknowledged, including nurses. Since the time of our nursing pioneer, Florence Nightingale, nurses have been in the trenches of some of the most difficult environments, caring for humanity in their weakest states, beginning from birth until death. So what has changed in the 21st century? It's a question I ponder often, and maybe you are asking yourself the same question. But when I'm listening to other registered nurses and advanced practice nurses who are my students, learning how to re-engage with themselves in a nurse coach certificate program I am senior faculty in, what I have seen and heard from my students is not hatred or indifference. They deeply care. They care about their patients, their families, their other colleagues. But what is showing up is grief and sadness. These men and women who daily show up for others and each other are grieving and deeply hurting. They bear witness to suffering of all kinds, not only patients they care for, but the families, their colleagues, each other, and they feel they have little time or resources. Some of my fellow colleagues are also carrying the weight of their own suffering, whether they are living with cancer, coping with a complex chronic condition, dealing with environmental exposures, 
or caring for their own family members who are ill. In my own life journey, I have also carried some of these experiences, and you might be as well right now while also being a nurse. It wasn't until I began my own healing journey as a nurse coach that I began to unpack the suffering, to look deeper into myself, and learn to ask for help, to step into the collective we space, to go inward, pause, and slow down, that I noticed some changes. Self-care is currently touted to be the answer, but it's only one piece of the larger solution. While self-care is extremely important, what may be more important is creating a healing environment for oneself. So how is this done? It starts with presence, that place where we are completely present in mind, body, and spirit with another person, maybe ourselves, not trying to do anything else in the moment with your eyes, ears, and complete body facing the person in front of us with no agenda or no task. It's an emptying out of self to be fully present to what is before us and within ourselves. It is also listening with the whole body. You as the listener are fully hearing what the person is saying, not trying to fix or insert or change what is being said. And it begins with you, your thoughts, feelings, and body responses. I always find it interesting that when you ask other people what it looks like to have somebody listen to them, they can describe it. And they can also tell you when it's not happening. I've also experienced this with another person without them saying anything at all in silence. Can we begin to hold space with each other, being totally present and listening? How would that intention make a difference in a person's life? How would it make a difference in yours? Nursing is considered the most trusted profession and physicians second. So what is it that nurses bring to humanity? The answer is ourselves and each other. In my journey as a nurse, I have witnessed nurses giving of themselves to their patients, families, and themselves, but finding it difficult to offer the same care to themselves. I remember the nurse who gently stopped me from touching a young boy who was coming out of anesthesia after an operation, sharing with me that the boy had a history of trauma and abuse, and touching him may have and may cause him additional trauma. It was my first experience with trauma-sensitive care. She was also being present to herself in that moment by sharing it with me. I can imagine some of the vulnerability it may have taken for her to open up to me about what she knew. I also remember the nurse who told me I would get used to difficult circumstances, like when a patient dies or there's some trauma that's really difficult to see, but I knew I wouldn't. She was also sharing a part of herself with me, opening up a place that had been wounded What about the neonatal nurses who care for premature newborns, creating tiny healing environments so the newborn will grow, finding ways to nurture those young infants? School nurses who witness vulnerabilities in their population, and they provide the nurturing hands, hearts, and themselves. There are so many examples I could share, some of them personal, where the nurse walking alongside their patient was the clue in the healing environment for both themselves and those they were with in the moment. So what are the key takeaways? We must be willing to open ourselves to what is suffering within ourselves, each other, and in the communities we live in. We must allow ourselves to grow, reaching out for help when we need it, 
and allowing ourselves as nurses to be cared for. The American Nurses Foundation currently has a well-being initiative available to all nurses, providing tools and resources for your well-being. The American Holistic Nurses Association has developed a nurse health and well-being toolkit with a Spanish version available this month. Nurse.org also has resources and helpful tips to get started. So let's start by asking the question again and spending some time reflecting on how we can. How do we show up? St. Francis of Assisi said, All the darkness in the world cannot extinguish the light of a single candle. I envision Florence Nightingale walking through the halls carrying her lamp and how each of us carry our candles. So may we live in peace and harmony today. May we live in love and compassion today. May we live in truth, beauty, and justice today. And from my heart to yours, I will hold you there. Thank you for joining me and spending some of your time here. If you love this episode or any of the other Nurse Converse episodes, please consider giving it a rating and subscribing. I would love to hear your thoughts and connect with you. Until the next episode, have a beautiful day. Thanks for joining Nurse Converse, brought to you by Nurse.org. Help us grow by leaving a five-star rating and review on your favorite podcast platform. Nurse.org supports nurses with career and education tips, life advice, and breaking news. Thank you for all you do and for being you. 